five legions in the army at this time, but it enables them to actually operate, digging ditches, putting up camp, as well as fighting a apron at the front called a kingdom. Now the kingdom seemed to get longer and shorter at different times and decided to keep his baggage trains a lot smaller and enable the Romans not to get ambushed. Therefore, he asked the soldiers to carry more. And here we've got a small number of auxilia in front of you. That they and they are held on the signal. So the signal for a trusted soldier who would have to protect it with his life. Every Roman standard will important gladius. And then there comes the cornucan, or the bugler, the trumpeter of the century. The cornu is this long, it's like curved instrument which he holds over his shoulder. They were awarded for honours, for battle honours. So Arsene Tune, a very senior soldier, he's seen a lot. You know, we've got a small group of soldiers being drilled. A close order drill, like any army in history, is very, very important. It's team building, it's responding to the words of command, it's operating together. So we can see a squad of soldiers being drilled. Now if you look closely at the weapons, whether they're using the Hasta or the Gladius, they're made of wood. The wood weapons are twice as heavy as the standard weapons. And that's very clever because it's a form of physical exercise. It's almost weight training, very tough bruising business, as you can see. It's very heavy wicker shields and these rather heavy wooden swords. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is training, so the soldiers are being instructed as they go along. The Romans train themselves, so trainers, seniors... So the corny force calls the troops to heal. Away at their numbers, the Romans weren't able to deploy into the If you imagine the tribes of Britannia, the people that would have lived in this area 2,000 years, now they've drawn their gladius, as you see, they've got their shields in the battle position. Look at the protection that it gives them, and they're advancing on the enemy, which unfortunately are the lot staying at the top here next to me. So try and look a bit more ferocious. These guys are coming in for the kill. A lot of people wonder why the legionaries don't wear any leg protection. If you look at them now, you might think that seems rather vulnerable. But as you probably guessed, it may be that the Romans snuck a couple of engineers in there with pickaxes who might try and undermine the wall of the enemy fortification whilst the soldiers around him are protecting themselves with the shields. And there is a story from antiquity that to put the testudos through its paces, the Romans actually ran a chariot over the top of it. We did think about doing that, but we passed on that on this occasion. You can see how disciplined the troops need to be in order to carry out this formation. You can imagine people throwing rocks and spears and stones at you from this position. So the centurion decided to adopt a position known as the cuneum or the wedge. It's a large arrowhead formation designed to break through the enemy line. That's you lot. So you're going to stand your ground as they come through. And this formation has been used by riot police, literally, to today's, uh, in today's uh, world. The shield's up in position. The centurion is the apex of the charge. He leads from the front. So the swords are out. They're after your blood, guys. So let's try and put them off a little bit. Come on! Come on, let's have some noise, come on. Romans go home, come on. You're, you're tough Celtic warriors. These guys are wearing mini skirts, come on. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the Roman cuneum. Oh, 
lots of dead. Okay, so that's infantry training. If we look first of all then at the Onager, which is at the top of the field nearest the wall. This is the siege catapult of an enemy fortress or city. It's actually called an Onager because that's the Latin for wild ass, because it's got kick like a wild ass, as you'll see in a moment. In the centre, we've got the catapulter. This is an anti-personnel weapon, and there's 70 of these in every legion. And these are designed to take out enemy troops from a long way away, further in fact than they throw large wooden or stone balls at or over an enemy fortification. We're just waiting to clear the of uh, hitting anybody. Auto shooting real missiles. Georgian building that you you can go in, and also I think up at the Guild Hall you can go up there as well. All part of uh, World Heritage Day. Oh, I don't know what. 